Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jamie. I make videos on fashion, beauty, lifestyle, all kinds of stuff. I upload twice a week, except for last week. I am so sorry to my returning subscribers. I could not upload last week just because I had a really, really busy work week. I know you guys understand, so thank you. So today's video, I'm doing a tutorial on my easy, undone, cool girl beach waves. And more importantly, they're curls with a straightener. So I think a lot of you guys are really gonna like this because maybe some of you don't have a curling iron. I really like it because I can curl my hair and kind of straighten my ends at the same time. There's been times where I have plugged in my curling iron and my straightener at the same time so I could get the same effect. So I figured this out. I finally mastered it and I really, really love how it looks. I think it's really, really great for short hair, but it's also great for any kind of hair length that you have. Very undone, very messy, effortless. This is the best way that I found to curl my hair while having short hair. Um, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Also, if you guys are interested in who does my hair, my sister does my hair. Um, I will link her information below. She has an Instagram um, and you can like book through there or you could book through Yelp, whatever you want to do if you are in the area. I will link that below. She cuts my hair, she colors my hair, um, everything like that. So if you're interested, check that out in the description box. So yeah, that's enough chit chat for one intro. If you guys want to see how I get these effortless cool girl undone beachy waves please keep on watching okay so this is my hair air dried nothing done to it um, my hair is pretty boring and straight as you can see um, straight with the occasional little little flip out hair is dry I just air dried it every now and then I will blow dry if I'm in a hurry um, but most of the time I like to air dry because I don't like to put that extra heat on my hair this is the straightener that I'm gonna be using today a little GHD straightener. This is a ceramic straightener, so it's a lot easier on your hair. The heat isn't as bad, I mean, it's not as damaging. So this is really great. I've had this for years, and this is actually the straightener that my sister uses as a hairstylist. So definitely recommend this if you guys are looking for a good straightener. I absolutely love this. And let me tell you the best thing about this straightener. It heats up so quick, like ridiculous. I will link it below so you guys can check it out. So since it's already heated up, we could already get on and get started. Um, and I'm not gonna section off my hair at all. I find that when I section it off, when I'm trying to do these very like effortless beachy waves, it becomes too perfect, you know? I don't want like every single piece of hair curled. I think the kind of fun thing about these beachy easy waves is that not every single piece is curled. Some looks a little bit straight. It looks like a little bit undone and that's the whole point behind this look. So um, I am not going to section off my hair because these bottom pieces of my hair probably aren't even going to get touched and that's totally fine because you don't see them anyways and it just maintains that beachy cool girl wave that we're going for. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick up like I don't know why I always pick up like a piece right here every single time. Um, a piece like this size and I'm gonna be curling all my hair going out that way I kind of start at the root and straighten it a little bit and then start curling it out so you can see what that is it's like a very easy undone beachy wave and I leave kind of the ends out a little bit just continue to pick up pieces that same size and then after I'm done with all these I will pick up smaller pieces and start kind of like texturizing my hair a little bit so you can see I did not curl all the way down I left some of it out Just so you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better, I basically just pick up the hair, obviously clamp it, straighten it down, and then twist it, and then let go. So, or I kind of like grasp at the end a little bit and straighten the ends just a little. So, you're just going down straight, twist, and then let go. So, and that's something to keep in mind for short hair. If you have longer hair, you're probably going to twist around a few times and then straighten at the end, just as long as you're keeping just a little bit of these pieces out so they don't get completely straightened and you get that kind of like undone look. Okay, these front pieces are always tricky because you don't want to go too curly. It'll kind of ruin the whole vibe. So, um, I like to come down a little bit more and just twist around a little bit just so you give like a little bend to your hair, but not a full curl because it's going to just look like too much. So you can see some pieces I literally just like turn barely and then let go. I find that it's a little bit harder to achieve this undone wave with a curling iron just because it ends up just getting too curled and it's easy to get like carried away. So the straightener is really good.
I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a few of the smaller pieces and curl them a little bit um, again with the really effortless curl and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we will touch up kind of everywhere so now that I have like my main pieces curled I'm sure I have some in the back that I haven't touched I have to pick up a mirror and look um, but I like to pick up some smaller pieces like this and curl them because that just gives you a lot of extra texture and like your hair just gets a lot more dimension like you can see that makes my hair look a lot more texturized and just like even more beachy so you can see obviously all right here like this whole section is not curled so leave about an inch off of the ends of my hair just completely straight and undone and that is what gives you that texture because if you have all your hair going in the same curl completely all the way to the end your hair is just going to look like one big curl so you want it to be messy to be undone straight those are like the words of the day i'm so sorry that i keep saying that sorry i can't think of anything else apparently and even maybe if you do do a little bit too curled the thing that's great about having a straightener is that you can just go in and straighten it and make it a little bit more straight Now what I do is I apply some product, I kind of comb it out a little bit, give it a little texture. Um, and the texturizing spray that I use is another one that my sister uses as a hairstylist that I've actually mentioned on my channel before. It's this Label M Texturizing Volume Spray. So it does everything it says it's going to. It's really, really great. And honestly, it smells so bomb. Like it smells like a perfume. So I usually just focus it on the ends and kind of like touch my hair, kind of piece it a little bit and just kind of go from there. So. We'll just kind of like overall spray it. I mean, like I am not a professional. I am like, honestly, I feel like I'm still learning with my hair every single day because having short hair, um, you know, you get used to doing your hair and then you chop it off and it becomes brand new again. So I feel like I am still learning every single day. So um, just kind of piece it a little bit. And the hairspray that I use is this big sexy hair from the brand. Oh, is it just literally sexy hair? I feel like you just see this and you know what it is. I never really thought about like what the brand name was. I thought it was just called this, but I guess big sexy hair is the brand. So this volumizing hairspray bomb, another one that my sister gets and she uses on her clients. So um, I don't know what happened to the little nozzle. It kind of sprays kind of funny. So I have to be kind of careful. It doesn't like spray me in the face. So I will just kind of like pick pieces up and spray what it does is like it sprays and i let go and it still kind of mists a little bit what's up with that um like just a little I'm doing like the same thing just trying to get like a little bit of texture we'll just take like a little comb like this and just kind of like just make sure that my hair is not frizzy up top because that's kind of what can happen when you have um, this curly styled look because obviously you're not going to like completely brush through it to get that frizz out. And then I'll just kind of brush the ends a little just again to kind of give that like straight texture at the end. And then I'll just kind of like mess with it, run my fingers through. bit frizzy back there I'm actually gonna go in and like touch up a few more pieces just to give that final touch um, reheated my straightener back up and it's so quick so it doesn't matter <laughs> um, I just want to kind of like give a little bit more of that beachiness So 
this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit of something from it. I hope you're able to execute these beachy, undone, cool girl waves. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you have any requests, let me know in the comments down below. Always wanting to do videos that you guys are wanting to see, so just let me know and I will do them for you. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I upload twice, twice a week. <laughs> I upload twice a week so you guys do not want to miss it. If you are already subscribed, make sure you guys go ahead and turn on your notifications. I don't normally ask that, um, but I think I will start just so you guys get to see videos right when I upload them. Totally appreciate it. And I love seeing your comments and your Snapchats and your messages and everything like that. So, and of course, if you guys want to stay connected, everything will be up on the screen so you guys can follow me around just on my normal everyday life because you get to see me every single day, not just twice a week like on here. Um, so go ahead and add me so we can stay connected. And I actually have another video to film right now so I should probably get going so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this I will see you guys later this week for my second video bye